a few birds singing this morning. It's strange. Some days you get all the birds in town that seem to be just in our yard singing as loud as they can in the morning. And then days like today, you just get that one. That's it. There's only one happy bird in town this morning. Huh. So good morning. I'm just waking up. Uh, Thursday when I'm filming this. We have plans to go up to Arburg today. Pick some freight up. And then I have to pick up some more freight on the way back down yet. So it's a two-stopper. Uh, fill the whole trailer up. I think I'm going to be taking a step deck roll tight. Those are always fun to deal with to open and close. They don't like to open and close as well as just the flats. But uh, we'll make it work. I'm going to go get some coffee into my veins. Get the bike ready. And then we'll ride in. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Ball of fire is already over there saying good morning. There's a few more birds showing up now. It's one thing I really like about the morning, is hearing the birds in the morning. Uh, so once we build our new house back out in the country, it's going to be something to look forward to every morning. I'm sure there will be a lot more chatter there in the bush. You ready to go in? Hi. Hi. What do you Commander? 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 Hey. 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 Careful. Come on guys, go. I'm always in such a rush. Gotta get back to mom. gets out of my way here. Oh, and look at that, he's going the same way as me. How fantastic. Wait, he changed his mind, maybe he's not. Oh, no, he's still going there, he just turned off his signal. I see. At least he turned it on for two seconds. It's better than nothing. In 600 meters, your destination will be on the left. All right, so around here somewhere, I've got to pick something up on the back of this roll tight step I have behind me. I've already picked up uh, a bunch of stuff in Arburg and I'm supposed to pick up a 14 and 8 inch piece here. I'm not too sure what it's going to be but lots of room on the back of this trailer. We shouldn't have a problem. And this stuff is all going down to Houston, Texas. Well that's where guard wine is. Ah, that's where they see their trucks all over the place. So we're in Winnipeg right now. Trucker Central in Winnipeg, up on Road 90, in the northwest corner of Winnipeg. That's where uh, a lot of trucking industrial places are. Trucking companies, truck repair shops, truck dealerships. Anything to do with trucks is in this area. Here, I believe, is my is my entrance. I'm here for my stuff. Premises monitored by camera and silent alarm. Huh. 
I don't know about you, but when I set an alarm, I want it to be more of a loud alarm. But uh, I guess the silent alarm works too. What am I supposed to do? 10 kilometers an hour maximum speed. No worries there, guys. I wonder what I'm loading. There's I've never picked up here before. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of a U-turn here. And park in the middle somewhere and go in and find out what they want me to do. Back in against here or something. I wonder if they want me in that door over there. Okay. I'll back up against the fence here and I'll find someone who knows what's going on. I can see tracks in the dirt back there that other people have parked here, so it seems like a good place to park, I think. Oh, I forgot to bring paper towels with me today. I ran out of paper towels in here. I gotta clean this truck out again. Gotta give it a good bull snot cleaning. Yeah, this will be good for now. So in here, I'm loading some cargo. Yeah, let's see if I got any information on it. Yeah, I am at the right place. Picking up something that's going to. Oh, this. Oh, this piece is actually going to Nisku, Alberta. The other stuff I have in my trailer is going to Houston, Texas. I guess they're going to do a little switcheroo. All right, well, I've got no pickup number in here. One piece. It's probably pretty small. They must know what I'm here for then. All right, I'm going to give them to I'll go uh, I'm gonna track someone down here. know what that means. I mean she's warming up. It's time to go home. Today was just uh, an autopilot type of day. Just uh, blah. Nothing to report. Nothing. To, well, every day is exciting. Don't get me wrong. I always love going up and talking to my friends up in Arburg and in Toulon where I usually go to pick up. They're good guys. It's good to visit with them. But it was an eventless day. Which is probably a good thing, you know, because when events do happen, usually they're bad events. So this was kind of like an autopilot day, you know, I got to work, just, I guess there's just a lot on my mind. My mom is still in the hospital currently when I'm filming this and uh, uh, it's hard to keep my mind distracted. But uh, we're getting by and uh, she is improving very slowly, getting stronger. So there's, it's been encouraging reports so far and uh, really hoping for more encouragement and more improvements but today was sort of like an autopilot day I just got here just got in the truck hooked up did what I had to do did my two pickups brought it back here we unloaded it in the yard here we loaded it on a different trailer and uh, reloaded the one I had and tomorrow morning I'm taking a roll tight flat a rental I'm taking it up to Toulon and then up to Arburg again tomorrow uh, a lot of stuff come out of there recently and we're gonna make sure that it's all taken care of and then it's all brought to where it needs to be in, in good order. But I've been feeling kind of exhausted, I guess, from the stress, anxiety, everything going on right now. I thought I got a good night's sleep yesterday, but my body disagrees with me. But I guess we'll try again tonight. I'm gonna to try to go to bed earlier. You know, uh, my alarm goes off, like you've heard before, at eight o'clock in the evenings. It tells me to go to bed. Otherwise, you know, before I realize it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, that's too late for me to go to bed. I gotta be up at five in the morning. So I like to try to get seven to eight hours every night. Eight hours is primo, 10 hours is glorious. So we're going for a glorious night tonight, hopefully. Try to get to bed at eight o'clock. We'll see what happens. I really do need to get some rest though. I've, I've been feeling a little bit exhausted and stressed out. So good news is that tomorrow is Friday. So we got one more day to do, one more day to go through and then get a nice weekend where I wanna complete working on our deck. I'd like to complete our deck this weekend. Now that I've got it pretty much torn apart, it should go pretty quickly from here. As long as I got all the, all the materials I need and I don't run short on wood or anything, we should be good. Well, just putting this video together and I don't know where a lot of my footage went. I had a lot more footage from today and tomorrow's because I'm, I'm doing them both at the same time, editing them all together right now. And 
I don't know if some of my uh, my footage got corrupted or what what happened, but uh, this video turned out to be pretty short, and I apologize for that. Uh, I had footage of the stuff I was hauling. It was kind of interesting tying it down. I was excited to show that with you, but, you know, technology. Every once in a while, this has happened over the years before. Sometimes the technology just doesn't agree with me and doesn't want... <coughs> it doesn't want me to share stuff, I guess. I don't know. But... Anyway, shorter video today and tomorrow might be a little bit shorter as well, but we'll be back to our regular self and content next week, I, I would hope. As long as my footage doesn't get lost like that again, I gotta figure out what happened. I probably, I probably did something wrong. Uh, my brain's sort of been all over the place. Uh, this whole week has been a little bit difficult for the family, but things are looking good and things are improving. So that's good. We're feeling good right now. Anyways, I will... Uh, Talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. We'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out today just for this short little, little tidbit.